in this town And my back and shoulders ache from sleeping on the ground Well, being in a car ain't the best thing, but it gets me where I'm going Helps me just knowing that I'm on my way back home And it's a three-hour drive from where I am to where I want and I got nothing but this stretch of road between my love and me Drinking coffee, smoking cigarettes, trying to stay away If you happen to see my baby, tell her that I'm on my way I'm coming home, I'm coming home From the rolling hills of Austin to the place where I belong I'm coming home, I'm coming home Being gone's just fine, honey, but I love coming home. Live from the Raleigh Convention Center, it's Radio Bristol. That's right, folks. You've got your radio tuned in to Radio Bristol. This is your host, Nathan Sykes, this afternoon, broadcasting from the IBMA World of Bluegrass. We're having a big old time down here, showcasing a lot of great talent and bringing the good music back to you folks in the Tri-Cities and all you folks everywhere listening online. Well, folks, we've got a great band coming up. Right now, this is World of Bluegrass, but you're going to get to hear some real hot, old-time music. Uh, this group is the sum of two songwriters who are equally influenced by modern songsters and the authentic mountain sounds. They've traveled all over the country, and their music is infused with those landscapes that they've experienced. I'm going to get out of the way and let them get to it. Make them welcome. Hoot and Holler. <laughs> I was dreaming, I 
thought I held you in my arm When I woke, I was mistaken I was peering through the bars so much. Thanks for that great introduction, Nathan. We are indeed Hoot and Holler. Uh, Hoot and Holler is usually just uh, Amy Alvey, the fiddle player, and myself, Mark Kiliansky. Uh, but we have two fine folks backing us up here at IBMA. Brad Kalodner on the banjo, Alex Lackwoman on the bass, and we're really lucky to have them with us. Uh, that's right. Well, as Nathan mentioned, we are both songwriters, and uh, that, that first song was a traditional number. Uh, there's so many different versions out there. No two are alike. It's called the Columbus Stockade Blues, and we kind of lifted that version from uh, Bill Monroe, the, the father, son, and the Holy Ghost of blue, bluegrass <laughs> music, as far as we're concerned. Um, but next, we're going to do a song that Mark wrote. Um, it's when he was woofing, which is where you go out and farm in, in exchange for a place to stay, uh, in, in Bozeman, Montana. And his host just kind of took him out one day in the car and they went to this huge pasture where they watched the buffalo roam around. I myself have never been to Montana or that area, North Dakota, South Dakota, Idaho. Um, it seems, <laughs> it, it, uh, it looks beautiful, what I've seen. Yes, indeed. This is a little piece of what I like to call cowboy existentialism, old buffalo. <laughs> Look at that old coyote stalking his weary prey. You know if he doesn't make the kill, he ain't gonna eat today. His belly is a rumbling, his legs are shaky and weak. It's mighty hard to catch your meal when you ain't in enough to eat. Roll on now, I don't mind rolling slow. Roll on now, he ain't got far to go. That old bindle stiff rambling down the track. He got everything he needs in that old gun he sat. Well, I lean on time of drinking the coffee cold. Well, he got peace inside his mind and a comfort in his soul. Look at that old Wall Street boy wearing a suit and tie. He can buy anything he wants, but he's afraid to die. Money is a mean old hound nipping him at the heels. He's 
dig himself a deeper grave with every crooked deal. Roll on now, don't mind rolling slow. Roll on now, we ain't got far to go. Oh, yeah, that's Hoot and Holly right here on Radio Bristol for a great Radio Bristol session. I believe that first song might have something to do with why y'all are called Hoot and Holly, huh? <laughs> so, anyway, uh, let's talk a little bit about the band. Uh, so, you guys are songwriters. Let's talk a little bit about your songwriting. Uh, well, I basically started writing songs shortly before Mark and I came together. Um, I'm originally from Southern California. Mark is from... New Jersey, right outside of New York City, and we met in Boston. We were both going to school at Berklee College of Music, and when we when we got there, we had both been introduced to Old Time and Bluegrass up there because they've got a very strong American Roots music program. And uh, you know, I think I think it was when I started listening to Gillian Welsh, and I was really attracted to her her style of songwriting as well. Um, and Mark and I had just moved in together with a bunch of musicians that had also graduated from Berkeley. So, you know, as I've just gotten kind of deeper into old time and, and discovering really cool mountain musicians like Roscoe Holcomb or Ola Bell Reed, you know, and, and finding out that they wrote their songs too, or some of their songs, um, it was like, well, I want to try and figure out a way to write songs that sound old, but that aren't old, you know, and I think Gillian Welsh does that really well. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people and I can definitely speak for us, are drawn to this music because they're looking for something very real and authentic and very heartfelt. And that can be hard to find sometimes these days. And uh, yeah, so it's been, I think, for us a way to express ourselves in the truest way possible. And learning from those old mountain musicians and great bluegrass and country songwriters as well as blues musicians and all kinds of people from the old days. We love the old stuff, you know. And, we're trying to uh, learn from that, but also do something new. Well, that's great, and you're really blending all that well. You know, you've got the, like, really, like, hot, flat picking guitar in there, but it's still very, like, old-time mountain sounding. That's a timeless sounding song that you wrote there. I really like that. that Thanks one. a lot. I can tell you pulled that from your own experience. You really was feeling that one. So you guys have been traveling around a lot, and it sounds like you have some big, exciting travels coming up really soon. Yeah, so we, we tour all around the country, and we... We try and get Brad and Al with us any chance we get. They're, they're from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, but actually, pretty much directly after this, we were driving across the country to fly to Australia from uh, Southern California. Like I, like I mentioned, my, my parents live there. So yeah, we're going to be touring Australia for a month, mostly in New South Wales and Victoria. So playing a few folk festivals over there and house concerts and local gigs. It's our first time and our first international tour. So hopefully we still like each other after it. <laughs> be the true test <laughs> all right so you've got some great music going you're playing live all over the place so let's talk about some recorded music y'all have any plans for that anytime soon yeah um, we've got two albums out right now that are all original material uh, and you can find that at our shows or online uh, hootenhollermusic.com or bandcamp itunes it's everywhere um, but we're coming out with a new album next year that's going to be really cool. It was really fun to make. It's a split album with the old-time Snake Milkers. Uh, they're an old-time band out of Charlottesville and Stanton, Virginia. And uh, we met them a couple years ago and just hit it off jamming and finally decided we were going to get in the studio and just kind of jam and see what happened. And so it's some of their tunes and some of our tunes and some of all of us and different groups. It's just like a big jam session. It's yeah. going to be fun. And that's mostly traditional material, so... It'll be our first. Very yeah. nice. Really highlighting the community aspect of old time. Music, Absolutely. Which is what makes it such a wonderful thing. 
So uh, <coughs> if people want to learn more about your music, where can they check you out online? Hootenhollermusic.com, as I just said, and our Facebook and Instagram handles are also Music. All righty. Well, folks, be sure to go check these guys out on the Internet. Uh, keep up with them on there. Make sure to go see them when they're coming to a town near you. What do you say, you guys? We get three three more tunes or so. Absolutely, yeah. All right. This, uh, this next... Make them welcome. <laughs> <laughs> This next song actually features my favorite bar in West Asheville. Uh, it's called The Double Crown. They have country karaoke on Monday nights, Western Swing Wednesday on West, uh, Wednesday nights, big old Hank Williams shrine by the bathroom. So needless to say, I've done my fair share of tipsy two-step in there. This one's called Live Easy. Future's bright. Woo. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> to match in a pair of brown boots too hard to catch cause I bought a new bike and it goes real fast faster than the city's eating all my cash but I'm gonna live easy and have a good time even if it makes me broke I got people in places low and high they're standing in my corner and they're getting me by and I've got a man who will never be mine he wants to stay friends and I can't decide but I'm gonna live easy and have a good time even if my heart gets broke I'm gonna live easy and have a good time Ain't nothing gonna get me down Gonna leave my troubles and worries behind Paint a new coat on the town I got whiskey in my pocket and the band is hot Two stepping at the double crown Oh, I'm gonna live easy and have a good time Ain't nothing gonna get me down I got the old time fever in a really bad way Got me picking and a grinning and a waste of my days And this place has a way of wearing, so they say The weather's getting warmer, so I think I'll stay And I'm gonna live easy and have a good time Even if it wears my soul I'm gonna live easy and have a good time Ain't nothing gonna get me down Gonna leave my troubles and worries behind Painted a coat on the town Whiskey in my pocket and the band is hot Two stepping at the double crown Oh, I'm gonna live easy and have a good time Ain't nothing gonna get me down Suit up Chevy tank is full of gas And I'm fixing on splitting when I pack my bags I got an itching that I know the open road can scratch Ain't no tailing if I ever come back But I'm gonna live easy and have a good time It doesn't matter where I go I'm gonna live easy and have a good time Ain't nothing gonna get me down Gonna leave my troubles and worries behind Paint a new coat on the town I got whiskey in my pocket and the band is hot Two stepping at the double crown Oh, I'm gonna live easy and have a good time Ain't nothing gonna get me down I got whiskey in my pocket and the band is hot Two stepping at the double crown Oh, I'm gonna live easy and have a good time Ain't nothing gonna get me, nothing gonna get me Nothing gonna get me down Thank you, thank you Man, and, and just for folks out there in the audience, uh, we don't normally wear sunglasses on stage. <laughs> this isn't like a thing. Uh, and for folks listening out on the radio, you should know that we've been wearing sunglasses while we're playing because there's these really beautiful but bright lights in front of us. And there's this really cool kind of like tinsel uh, curtain behind us. We'll take a picture and, and post it on our Instagram so you can check that out. Again, hoot and holler music. Uh, but... We're gonna do. Uh, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm in like a honky tonk daydream here, <laughs> <laughs> with these streamers behind us. Streamers, very, that's very cool. double crowny actually. Yeah. Honky tonk dreamer. <laughs> Let's do uh, sitting pretty. Sure. Yeah, this is a, kind of a newer one that I wrote. Um, kind of about all the bad things that you hear about on the news, and when you're a full-time musician traveling around from place to place, it can be. It can just, you really feel like you can't do anything about it. It causes a lot of anxiety. Uh, I know I've had a, been dealing with a little bit of anxiety even over the past couple days. Um, 
So anyways, this kind of taps into a little bit of that. I mean, what can we do? We, we just make art and make music and try and persist. So here it goes. Tune because we care. Close Daddy's in the office, busting his ass. Mama raised the kids, now she lives off the cash. Sister and husband, baby make three. They can't take the time off in this economy. And I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. Oh, I'm sitting pretty. Ain't that a joke? Oh, I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. Oh, I'm sitting pretty. Ain't that a joke? Madman's in the White House begging for war. West Coast is burning just to settle the score. Hurricane Irma, Jose and Nate, it won't take too much water just to flood through the gates. And I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. Oh, I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke? Oh, I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. Oh, I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke? Some people work hard and can't catch a break. The coal is all gone and all that's left are the graves. If life is like a game, then it's luck of the draw. And you're only on top because of others who fall. And I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. Oh, I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke? Oh, I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. Oh, I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke?
have my show on the road. My trouble in mind won't let me sleep, cause my worry like a knife that keeps cutting me deep. And I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke, oh, I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke, oh, I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke, oh, I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke, oh, I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke? Oh, I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. I'm sitting pretty. Thank you very much. Once again, we're Hoot and Holler. Thanks to Nathan and everyone here at Bristol Radio for having us. Hope everybody at IBMA is having a good time, and hope everybody outside of IBMA is having a good time. Um, we're going to cap it off here with a little song called Goodbye Boozy Susie. I got paid $100 to write this song. And uh, uh, this was actually just released on a new album that I got paid my first royalties for. So that was pretty exciting for me in my career. Um, and that album just happens to be by Brad and Alex's band, <laughs> Charm City Junction. So check out their new album, Duck Pin, available everywhere. <laughs> exactly. We'll send you a 24 cent check pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Goodbye, Boozy Susie. Here we go. Thanks again. Well, I was standing on the corner in the middle of the day, giving all of my sweet time away. I was sitting on a sofa on a sunny afternoon, saving a julep and a shoe in the moon. Falling and a squalling on the seven seas. I was riding on a dolphin. I was shooting the breeze. I've been working real hard. I need a vacay. Oh, I think I'm gonna go away. So it's goodbye to Boozy Susie. It's goodbye to Betsy Brown. It's fairly well two days of Duke to the world below. I'm bound. Going up to North Dakota or down to Mexico to anywhere that I can be found. So it's goodbye to Boozy Susie. And it's goodbye to Betsy Brown. I had a Carolina Calico Calliope Kite. I was flying it high, I was riding a rat. Had a melancholy Mississippi Murphy bit. I was healthy in the body, I was sick in the head. It was a victorious vacation, but a sticky situation brought my glorious good time to the ground. Well, the jelly jam was juicy, the lady's name was Lucy, and I wasn't about to stick around. So it's goodbye to Boozy Susie. So it's goodbye to Boozy Susie, and it's goodbye to Betsy Brown. Bristol, some great old-time bluegrass music there. That was awesome, guys. Keep it up. Thanks so much. Uh, for all you folks listening in, be sure to go check them out online, hootandhollermusic.com, Hoot and Holler Music on all the social medias. And we'll be back with you here in a very few minutes for The Farmer and Adele at 3 o'clock. We'll see you then. <laughs>